Welcome back. In this lecture, let's work on T-flow meter components. The components enables us to get the count of records passing through each component. T-flow meter will record the count and pass it to T-flow meter catcher. T-flow meter catcher gets the data from T-flow meter and then we can get those data set into a file or we can print it into a console. Let's, let's work on the components. T flow meter. And we have to have this component after every component wherever we have to record the counts. Let's have it after source. after the filter let's have it for second sub job So we have four flow meter. Now let's have flow meter catcher. So which will catch all the counts and then pass it to the destination component. Let's use T log row to print the output in the console. Let's print it in table format. Run. Let's check the result. So we have result for both the sub jobs. And if you see, row one has 107 count, but while passing through row two, it got filtered to 19 count. And in the second sub job, row three has 107 counts, while passing through row four, so it got aggregated to 28 count. Likewise, we can get the count of data passing through every component. And if we check the properties of uh, flow meter catcher, we can use input connection name as label, or we can define custom label name. The mode we have absolute or relative. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.